Don't miss again. Power. Huh. Yeah. Break through the limit. Oh shit. Ta me. Ta me. Ta oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go already! Here we go! Sometime after Gohan defeats Cell, the now grown up Gohan travels to meet Vegeta and discuss participating in the world tournament. Vegeta agrees to take part in the tournament. Goku, who is in the other world, also decides to participate. In order to beat Goku at the World Tournament, Vegeta brings, uh, begins training with his son Trunks. Okay, if you can punch me in the face, I promise I'll take you to that amusement park you're always going on about. Really? You mean it? Here I come! Now let's just see what you can do. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Spark Z, where we're continuing the Vegeta saga. Let's punch our son in the face. Super Saiyan, but he's still a child. No way in hell I'm letting myself get hit. Sorry, little Trunks. Come get your ass whooped. He just took it. He, he, he literally took it. Damn. Bro, he he dodged that shit. Sorry, son. Here comes. Take this. Got you. Yeah. Charge it up. Son of a no. <laughs> Hold on, let me make it really hurt. A little warm up. You know what I'm saying? A little warm up. At the World Tournament, Vegeta reunites with Goku. As a result of the draw, Vegeta is due to fight Goku in the first round and is finally able to take joy in battle. However, during Gohan's first battle, Yamu and Spopovich invade the battlefield and take the, to the skies with Gohan's stolen energy. Vegeta immediately joins Goku in the following Spopovich trails? Is that how you say that shit? Before long, Yamu and Spopovich are killed by Babidi and Dabura's turn Piccolo and Krillin to stun. To turn Krillin back from stun, Vegeta and the others follow Dabura and fight him. I do remember this, but as Vegeta watches Dabura and Gohan fight, he becomes frustrated and not being able to fight Goku at the World Tournament. So Dabura and Baba DCs on Vegeta's selfish desires. Submit your mind and body to me! <laughs> <laughs> Babidi's using the evil in your heart to control you. Clear your mind. Remove all thoughts from your head. Sh shut your mouth. You, you know nothing. Yes, yes. Now you belong to me. <laughs> now that you're under my control, I shall push your power past its limits. <laughs> Gain the opportunity to fight Goku, Vegeta lets Babidi's spell take over. After Babidi's magic teleports him to the World Tournament, Vegeta shows his intent by ravaging the stadium. Babidi, move us to some place where there's no one else around. 
I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here! They keep fighting in the arena, countless people will die. Realizing this, Goku agrees to fight Vegeta but demands a change of location. After finding a place where there are no humans or animals, Goku and Vegeta assume fighting stances. Abadi tries to manipulate Vegeta into killing Supreme Kai, but Vegeta is determined to fight Goku and rebels against his influence. Let's go! It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! You know, it's pretty amazing. While I've been in Otherworld, I've done nothing but train. And yet here we are now. You and I are evenly matched. What does it matter? Your inborn talents have still placed you out of my reach. Even after all these years, that remains the same. I wanted to go back to the cold-blooded Saiyan I'd been in the beginning. The one who didn't care about anything but besting you in one-on-one -on -one combat. But surrendering to Babidi's magic was a price I was willing to pay if it meant I could be my old self again. And as a result, I've never felt better. That isn't true, and you know it, Vegeta. I just hold yeah. Wait, I didn't understand the, the assignment on that shit. What do you hold the button or what do you do right there? Guys? Oh, you gotta try to land it, that shit on the line. Wait, uh, Oh wait, wait! God damn, Goku! Let me let me breathe! I got the upper hand, my brother. Hold on, what's the what's the details? What's Majin's wake? I'm sorry, I don't know these these skills, guys. I am Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans! You nuisance! Oh, that man a nuisance. Let me get sparkling mode. Sparking mode. That's who I am! Yeah, I thought I thought he uh dodged all that shit. Damn it, Goku. Damn it, brothers. Do you feel that? That that huge energy? Majin Buu. He must have finally been revived. Oh man, I wanted to keep going. I was feeling too good. Watching Boo whoop my ass. I'll never forget, man. I think that was the first universe, bro. There was so many little Majin Boos. After being told that Majin Boo will kill everyone, Vegeta had no choice but to drop his fight with Goku. Goku says that they fight as one, he is sure they can take out Majin Buu. Vegeta feels responsible for awakening Majin Buu and after knocking Goku unconscious, he departs to confront the villain, determined to fight to the death. When Vegeta arrives in front of Majin Buu, Gohan's key has already faded. So, is that pink blob with the cape Majin Buu? Well then, you're going to pay for what you did to Kakarot's son! It just means you're big and ugly. That made Boo angry! So Boo make you dead! I'm not going to hell alone. I'm taking you along for the ride! Got you! One, do 
is my favorite. Let me make sure. We just gotta survive, alright. My boy, you nuisance. Come on, come on, come on. Damn, he's too strong. And if he's capable of regenerating any wound, then defeating him in battle may be impossible. Dad! Vegeta faces the fact that he cannot defeat Majin Buu with his normal combat power and is left with no choice but to put his life on the line. Turning to Trunks who came to his aid, Vegeta gives his son a few final words. Trunks, listen, take good care of your mother. What do you mean by that, Dad? Why are you telling me to take care of Mom? You know, from the time you were a little baby, I've never once hugged you because I always wanted to make you a tougher man. Let's embrace. Huh? Come here, son. Wait, Dad? What? Hey, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. Take care, Trunks. All right? <laughs> well, I finally figured out how to deal with you. Just in time. Goodbye to you all, Bulma, Trunks, and yes, even you, Kakarot. Vegeta has sacrificed his life in the battle with Majin Buu, but King Yama decides not to send him to hell, just in case. Instead, Vegeta is taken back to Earth by fortune teller Baba. Vegeta arrives to assist in the battle against Majin Buu. Goku suggests that the two of them fuse using the Patara. Is that how you say that shit? Guys? However, Vegeta refuses the request. When we fought, you hid the true depths of your power, letting me believe we were equals. Now I saw it all from Otherworld, Kakarot. You let me win. So you can keep the secret of Super Saiyan 3 to yourself! Dash! Then maybe this will convince you! Boo has absorbed every person we've ever cared about! Krillin! And Chi Chi too! Even Bulma! Piccolo! My sons, Gohan and Goten! And your son, Trunks! They're all trapped in Majin Boo! Uh, Vegeta! The earring! Give it here! What are you waiting for? Hurry up already! Thank you, Vegeta. All right! I'm Vegeta and Kakarot together. Oh, man, 
that shit is tough. Vegeta. And this. Get ready for this. I didn't push no buttons. He just. It's Super Vegito. What the hell? Super Vegito getting his ass uh super what? What the I can't even fucking move, dude! Damn! That was ridiculous, bro. Tara, what are you waiting for? Hurry up already! Thank you, Vegeta. I'm Vegeta and Kakarot together. Yes, that makes me Vegeta. And this. Get ready for this. Is Super Vegeta. What the hell is this? Just what are you? I know. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Now that's a lot of motherfucking do you oh, my damn controller died. If you really want to dole out some damage, watch and learn. You have no help. What's going on? You yeah. fell for it. Over here. What is this? Oh wait, what do I gotta do? Special move. Survive. Boy, ain't got no HP. Look, look at this scripted shit. Right. Shall I get serious? <laughs> Take this. Uh, it's no use. No. 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 What do you think? I've had just about enough fun for one day. So I'm going to give you 10 seconds to say your prayers before I wrap this up. That was hard. I, that was cool. Vegeta allows Majin Buu to absorb him, and the fusion dissolves inside Buu's body. They are once again Goku and Vegeta. Inside Majin Buu's body, Vegeta and Goku successfully rescue Gohan and the others. Furthermore, Vegeta and Goku find the very first Majin Buu, release him, and escape from inside Buu's body. However, that leads Majin Buu to transform once again, this time into an embodiment of evil itself. Now beyond anyone's control, Majin Buu destroys Earth. Goku used instant transmission to take everyone to the land of the Kais, but Vegeta is angry at Goku for rescuing Mr. Satan and the others instead of Gohan and their friends. When the Supreme Kai again gives them the Patara for their flight for their fight against Majin Buu, Vegeta refuses, saying he wants to fight with his own strength. Buu follows Vegeta and friends to the land of the Kais. After telling Dende and the others to run, Vegeta and the friends prepare for their final clash with Buu. All right, what do you say we get this thing started and see just what everyone can do? Good. Who's up first? I'll fight you for it. Rock, paper, scissors! Oh, really? Shoot! Shoot! <sighs> Why don't you allow me, Kakarot? Prepare yourself, Majin Buu. This time, I'm eradicating you for good! <sighs> I'm shaking all over. Having this battle makes me feel something that resembles joy, I think. Boy, he... Yo, the, the computer really will be hitting you in the middle of the... Of the uh, speeches and shit. As soon as the fight starts, they already be... Oh, that's crazy. 
Big bang! Attack! Damn, rocks and shit was in the way. Even in Super Saiyan 3, Goku cannot defeat Majin Buu. Goku is confident that he can do away with his opponent if he can build up his key to the limit. However, he tells Vegeta that he cannot find an opportunity to do so. To give Goku time to build up his key, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan and confronts Majin Buu. Stay alive, Vegeta. Thanks, but I'm already dead. Impudent scum! when it gets okay hold on bro yeah. all right i couldn't figure out exactly how they wanted me to do it Why 
Why is he so good? Eat this! Eat this! I somehow survived. Somehow. Because that dude was doing crazy stuff. I wasn't ready. Uh, Vegeta tries to buy time, but Majin Buu defeats him. It is now that Mr. Satan appears and declares that he will vanquish Majin Buu himself. Seeing this, Majin Buu attempts to kill Mr. Satan. But the original Majin Buu splits from Majin Buu and begins to defend Mr. Satan. However, he does not last long. Goku, who is supposed to have been building up his ki, gets exhausted and in turn cannot sustain his transformation. Vegito smiles wearily, realizing that the tide has turned against them, but he is also he also has an idea. He issues orders to Dende and the others and gathers the Namekian Dragon Balls. Vegeta then proceeds to revive Earth and all the people killed by Majin Buu. However, Goku has yet to realize what Vegeta is thinking. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. Wait, so your big plan is you want me to make a spirit bomb? But even if we had enough time to gather the energy for it, it might not be enough to beat Boo! No, the Earthlings will save themselves for once by contributing every ounce of spirit energy they have. Spring Kai, I need to make an announcement that every person on Earth will hear. Can you make that happen? Don't worry, I'll do it. It's kind of my first. Okay, guys, it's all set. And you can speak not to just Earth, but the whole universe if you want. That's more like it. Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? Please listen closely. As I speak, a great warrior is fighting Majin Buu on behalf of all Earthlings. But despite his bravery, the odds are against him. We need your help. Raise your hands in the air and offer your spirit energy to help us defeat Buu once and for all. Hey, hardly anyone from outside our circle of friends is giving us their energy. This isn't good. Fat Majin Buu is about to die! Kakarot! I'll do what I can to buy you a little more time! Over here, Majin Buu! Bro, I can't I can't even move. Eat this! Bro! Yeah, this guy's ready. Is that all you've got? Oh my god. You gotta hold out just a bit longer, Vegeta! You're asking for a lot, bro. Let's do it already! Hey, idiot! Why aren't you cooperating? Quit yapping and start helping! Or would you rather ignore the request of the great Mr. Satan? I'm kind of in the middle of defeating Majin Buu right now, so the sooner you send your energy, the better! Is that all you've got? Yeah, I, I was able to do that. What? <laughs> If it wasn't for these objectives where you don't have to actually kill people, I'd have got my ass whooped about seven, eight times already. Thanks to Mr. Satan's plea, they succeeded in collecting enough key from everyone on Earth. Blow his evil peak behind the way already! Nice work, Mr. Satan! Go to hell! Ha, 
it all. Although the spirit bomb proved successful, Goku's lack of power to land a hit on Majin lacks the power to hit. Please. Goku, we used Purunga's third wish to heal you. You should be able to power up. Thank you, Dragon Balls. Later. Goku's spirit bomb completely erases the evil Majin Buu. Vegeta and the others are ready to return to Earth after having their injuries healed. Having been revived by the Dragon Balls, the friends embrace the victorious Goku and Vegeta. You rule, Dad! Who'd have thought Vegeta would be such a gifted speaker? <sighs> Thus, peace returns to Earth, and perhaps Vegeta will continue to fight for the sake of his, his beloved family. What? I, I was supposed to do that one last, huh? I was supposed to go to Goku Black. We're not done. We're supposed to go to Goku Black. I did that one in the wrong order. And now, uh, ooh. Yep. All right, well, there's, oh, there's not that many though. Let's do Goku Black. Puny mortals. Your judgment is at hand. I don't, did we ever do anything with Goku Black on the other games? I don't remember. He, he, he talking shit. I think we did. Goku Black and Zamasu attempt to destroy all of humanity for the Zero Mortal Plan. Okay but end up in heated combat with Trunks, along with Goku and Vegeta, brought from the past of a different world. Realizing their prey have escaped back to their own time, Goku Black and Zamasu follow them to their world. I hope I'm saying his name right. I ain't fuck you. Um. I see you have returned, dear Saiyan. Thanks to you, my power will only grow to greater heights. Goku and the others believe Goku Black is a puppet created by the Dragon Ball. But in reality, he is another Zamasu who swapped bodies with Goku in a different universe. Not only are Goku Black and Zamasu still alive, but the former is inhabiting Goku's true body. Goku Black and Zamasu seeking further, if I'm saying his name wrong, I know y'all sick because I just said it wrong by eight times. Attack our baffled heroes in the hopes of cornering them further. Oh! clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time where he protects me not even what a god did in the past can affect me can't believe he actually killed a supreme kai but of course as you know only the supreme kai can wield the power of the time and to bring him the justice i desire i needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally I'm low key getting decent. Who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal kind? Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality you see as an alternate future, I was floundering in despair. I lacked the will. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed. So I came to forge my alliance. He dodged it. It was like this, right? What? Yo, I am getting my ass whooped. Holy shit. Yo, it wasn't even close either. He had like two and a half bars left. Oh my God. 
Got me Goku. I feel like a Goku brown brown shirt, two K type shit. I just got my ass kicked. And I gotta fight two people. Yeah. Oh, this clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. I can't believe they actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time ring. To bring about the justice I desire. I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. You suck at me! A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal kind. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality you see as an alternate future, I was floundering in despair. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed, so I came to forge my alliance. Again, that, su that sucks. Bro. I've been keeping this one a secret. It was like this. Right. What? Could be worse. Here we go. I'm missing again. Power. Huh. Break through the limit. Oh shit. Nothing but my feet was like this here, bro. Oh my god. Oh, light. Boy. Boy, dealing. Oh, this clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. I can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course. As you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the Time Ring. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal kind. Man. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality you see as an alternate future, I was floundering. Air. I lacked the will. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed, so I came to forge my alliance. Finally. My limitless wrath makes me the strongest being in the universe. What the? I won't lose. Yeah. <laughs> retribution. Your retribution. Where is it? That's him. Your retribution. You must pay for your sins again. Oh man, I forgot it was a 2v1. Two, two Die! Maybe I am a sinner, but I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes to save this planet. I'm behind him, right? I guess not. Your retribution! Scatter to the winter! 
turn anger into power. Sick it up! My limitless double bar cheese makes me the strongest being in the universe. How? I didn't think you were capable of reaching this level of power. It does make for the perfect dessert. <laughs> Man. Admit to be foolish. Your retribution. You're done. Oh my God, yo! Back to back is not cool, bro. Oh, oh it's clear it doesn't understand the full beauty of this time. Where he protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. Can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time. To bring about justice. Yeah, I'm really having a hard time. Once they start the combo and they're behind me, I do not know how to get out of it. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal Kai. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality you see as an alternate future, I was floundering in despair. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed, so I came to forge my alliance. Magnificent. The body of a Saiyan is the ultimate and divine blessing. Yeah, he's strong as a bitch, though. I'm gonna be honest. You got to find imbecile. Turn anger into power. I think I missed. You fool. See, when they're behind me like that, like I don't even know how to get out of that shit. Retribution! Here I come! Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. I can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time rings. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal Kai. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality, you see, as an alternate future, I would... Now, when they're kicking me in the back, how do I stop that shit? I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed. Fam, I really... Oh, my goodness. I'm getting destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Odorous clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Where he protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. I can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time ring. To bring about the justice I desire. I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal kind. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. 
In this reality you see as an alternate future, I was floundering in despair. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed, so I came to forge my alliance. Turn anger into power. My limitless wrath makes me the strongest being in the universe. <laughs> How do you, yo? I swear, I have no idea. <laughs> God! How the fuck? How do you? So when he's beating my back in, I just got a whole lap, bruh. Just like this, this. Oh, Ogres clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Where it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. I can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time ring. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust. Yo, oh my. Over the folly of mortal kind. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality, you see, as an alternate future, I was floundering in despair. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel f Yo. I don't. Ogres clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. I can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time ring. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal kind. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality, you see, as an alternate future, I was floundering in this year. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed, so I came to forge my alliance. Oh my God! Jesus in heaven, bro. Oh, this clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. I can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time gods. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal Kai. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality, you see, as an alternate future, I was floundering in despair. I don't know how to... It's probably something simple. Oh, this clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time. Where it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. I can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time gods. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally.
A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal kind. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality you see as an alternate future, I was floundering in this snare. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the Box of Rings this parallel future existed, so I came to forge my alliance. Scatter to the winds! Retribution! Retribution! Yo! You must pay for your sins against time. Die! Maybe I am a sinner, but I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes to save this planet. Turn anger into power. Huh? Sink it! On me! My limitless way makes me the strongest being in the universe. How diet? I didn't think you were capable of reaching this level of power. But it does make for the perfect Turn anger into power. Oh wait, it's not over? I'll hold them off and give them everything I've got. But in case I fail, you need to find a way to defeat them! Oh. Goku Black and Zamasu proceed to overwhelm Goku and Vegeta with their strength. The trunks give the heroes a window to flee, black, flee back into the world of the past. Goku Black and Zamasu fail to catch trunks and take a brief respite, only to be attacked by the mortal survivors of this world. At that moment, though, Goku Black and Zamasu says nothing. Goku and the others are back, as expected. So, the curtain rises, and our Act 3 begins. Masu and Goku Black destroy the time machine to prevent Goku and the others from returning to their world, driving our heroes further into a corner. Our master Goesu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. As a result, you malefactors have developed time travel, a privilege only meant for the Kais. This machine is the quintessential reason why your kind must be eliminated. Well, it appears they're not listening to you. No matter. I'm so intoxicated by myself, I don't care if I have an audience. One of the many benefits of being a god. Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. These bodies are a gift from the gods, as is their energy. But you arrogant saiyans act as if you created this strength all on your own! Scatter to the wind! Turn anger into power. Huh. A god singing! Boy, that's my saving grace. I move. Now I figured it out. The reason for the runaway growth in your power level compared to my own. It's anger, isn't it? Watching us hurt your son made you angry, which made you strong. So that's how Saiyan strength works. How primal. Turning your raw emotions into power. Only a pathetic mortal like yourself could thrive on a tactic that unrefined. Which explains why it took me so long to realize it. And I too shall use my anger 
Anger toward the mortals who defile the universe. Anger toward the other gods who have tolerated such behavior. And most important, the white hot rage I now feel toward myself for letting you get the upper hand on me in our battle. Who got you? This was just the start. I channeled my divine rage into power. I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. This sign will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath! Kill me! My limitless wrath makes me the strongest being in the- Vegeta! I think it's my turn now! <laughs> it's all to be- to be one? No! Relax! Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans loved fighting the strongest. Turn anger into power. Yeah, whoever does the voice of, of Goku Black is the beast. I ruined that. That uh, QTE event. I never have a hard time with QTEs in video games, except for this game. My counterpart's energy just vanished. And then just as suddenly it reappeared. But now it feels much weaker for some reason. Like he's barely present. He must have run into some trouble completing his part of our gambit. Sensing something strange happening to Zamasu, Goku Black abandons his fight and teleports to Zamasu's side using instant transmission. Zamasu is drenched in sweat. Then Zamasu speaks, warning Black how dangerous it, dangerous it is to treat mortals as mere insects. How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about mortals were badly mistaken. They are much more than just insignificant worms. If we're not careful, our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. Very well. No more games or half measures. Because these insolent mortals continue to defy and profane us, we will reveal to them the ultimate power of the gods. It's time to show them divine perfection made whole. You pathetic, lowly mortals. Kneel before our radiance. So this is your move. Show your reverence and bow down before our Splendor. Worship me. Give praise unto me. Me, the beautiful, the sublime. Me, the invincible, the almighty and divine. All hail, Somerset. I can feel it. Two glorious and unparalleled powers dissolving into one within me. All right, Zamasu. So he's a bit stronger now. That's just what we need. The power coursing through me is exceptional, glorious, absolute. Stare in awe. I am justice incarnate. Trumps, keep Bulma safe. You insolent, minuscule saint. Bear witness as I show you the power of my divine light. You hearken unto me. I am the brightly glowing sun in the sky which illuminates this world. All right, what's your moves, bro?
Jesus Christ. Every five goddamn sec. Sorry, guys. And all shall know that my brilliance is justice. I, the god Zamasu, am the universal wisdom, the universal law, and yes, the universal power. And all those who my light shines shall be oblivious. At long I didn't do as much damage as I thought. Day project. I mortals will culminate with the eradication of all life on this field. Then, Topia will rise from the ashes. What the hell is he talking about? Don't get ahead of yourself, Zamasu. First, you have to beat me. Slowly, but still denying the inevitable. Perhaps a further demonstration of my power will help you face the truth. Face my divine wrath! Now witness the wrath of the god! Go kill! Okay, you want some too? Get ready, cause I'm knocking your lights out for good! You sinner minded bother the same. Light of the mortals that will soon be extinguished. This is true. Yeah. for your I didn't even realize. <laughs> it's a great honor to fall at the hands of a god, is it not? <laughs> the beginnings of a new era abide on this planet. Like that shit look like it'll take it'll be massive damage. It's a, I mean it's cool, but I hey, actually let me let me take that back. That, that was kinda that was a lot of damage. I face my divine wrath. Ah! Ah! Show me what you're truly made of. What's this? Are you at your limit? <sighs> Work. I ain't gonna lie, this motherfucker is strong. <laughs> okay, Vegeta, it's time. We're gonna fuse just like them. Nowhere left to turn, Goku and Vegeta pull out the one trick they still have up their sleeve. Get ready for this. And who are you? We're a merged fighter, the combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegito! And here's something new. Vegito Blue! Atar fusion just like Zemasu. Vegito, the fusion of Goku and Vegeta versus Zamasu. This fuse with Goku Black. And so their final battle begins. Okay, what do you say we wrap this up? Potara is. Does the mimicry have no end? Very well. I will show you that a mere imitation cannot hope to reach the heights of my majesty. Power of divine light shall sweep away this pathetic mockery. He's not going for my counters at all. <laughs> Face my divine wrath! 
shall witness the wrath of the gods! Yes! Face my divine wrath! Now witness the wrath of the gods! Yo, what is going on? Every five goddamn seconds, bro. This is true. No, no. Yo. My body. Over here. Father. Go. These people come about the elections getting my fucking nerves, bro. The beginnings of a new era abide on this planet. Lightning of absolute It's over. Great honor to fall at the hands of a god, is it not? All right, we need a couple more. <laughs> Face my divine wrath! Now witness the wrath of the god! Here we go, everyone! Uh no matter how many of you mortals band together, you cannot prevail against the power of my light. This character is ridiculous. In the end, you were but a hapless sinner who challenged a god and paid the price for blasphemy. Trunks! Zamasu notices Trunks gathering energy from what remains of humanity and strikes him down before he can use it. Goku and Vegeta are left to stand against Zamasu with the last of their strength. Now, allow me to cleanse you impure Saiyans of your unpardonable sins. And so fell the defenders of Earth at the cold, merciless hand of Zamasu. Beginnings of a new era abide on this planet. Lightning of absolution! All who would dare defy me have been vanquished. Now, now is the time to usher in a new chapter for the universe. At long last, my power and will, grand and divine, shall bring about eternal justice. With the defeat of Goku, Vegeta, and humanity's last hope, Trunks, there is no one left to stop Zamasu's plan. Overcome with joy and with the purest tears rolling down his face, Zamasu sets the zero mortal plan in motion and wipes all traces of mortals from the cosmos. Sheesh. All right, we'll stop here. Mahalo, y'all boys in the next one. Make sure y'all thumbs up for the bitches. Look out for the Call of Duty campaign. Hopefully it's good. And then I have uh, Life is Strange, the new one the return of max plus we still have silent hill we're gonna bust through these games man y'all know how we rock all right next time peace